The story I'm telling you begins 24 years ago in a small village of Cameroon called Mbalmayo. I've been living there with my wife Valeria for two years, working in the Centre de Promotion Sociale held by the Italian ONG COE, where we worked on the creation of the first high school of arts in Cameroon, l'Institut de Formation Artistique. Every morning, going to the school where we served as teacher, we passed near to the small hospital of our center. The image was similar to that you see in this picture, a long line of people waiting for a doctor, many of them waiting for a diagnostic test on malaria. Malaria is a serious disease. 3.2 billion people are still at risk of malaria according to the World Health Organization. 216 million new cases occurred in 2016 and 445,000 deaths have been estimated, most of them in Africa. Now, you could ask me, which is the connection between malaria and your current activity as professor of nanomagnetism? Now, malaria disease is caused by the plasmodium parasite which attacks red blood cells. During the interitocytic development, plasmodium feeds on hemoglobin, degrading it into a mosaic nanocrystal. And in 2016, I came across a paper discussing the superparamagnetic properties of these crystals, and this triggered my interest. So, if malaria-infected red blood cells are magnetic, that's my job, I thought. In June 2016, we got a grant from the Polysocial Award 2016 program with a project for a malaria diagnostic test based on the mosaic crystals which make magnetic infected red blood cells, thus allowing their magnetic separation and detection. The title of the proposal was Tidmeki, which is the name of Malari Newondo, the local language of Balmayo, the small village in which I've been living. Tidmek test, the name comes from Tidmeki, the project name, is based on the following steps. First, a small drop of blood is placed on a glass slide. Second, a microchip fabricated in a clean room with some micron-sized magnetic concentrator and electrode is placed on top of the glass slide in the magnetic field produced by an external magnet placed on top. Third, healthy red blood cells and other corpuscles sediment on the glass slide, while infected red blood cells are captured on the surface of the microchip where they are counted using the electrode placed here. Fourth, the signal is displayed on a notebook or on a smartphone connected to the diagnostic apparatus. The nature of the Polysocial Awards grant itself, oriented to social projects, forced me to think about an unusual kind of protection of the intellectual property, the social patent. The scope was not protecting our intellectual property to beneficiate from possible revenues or other economic initiatives. The idea was different, to protect the invention against a pure economic deployment. Malaria is a serious medical and social problem. Our invention could have become just a way of transforming it in a business. For this reason, in agreement with the Technology Transfer Office of Politecnico di Milano and the other co-inventors, we signed an internal document preliminary to the patent application where the inventors first give up all possible revenues from the exploitation of the intellectual property while declaring their interest in continuing the development of the diagnostic test. And second, they request that Politecnico di Milano adopt a no-profit exploitation strategy compatible with the principle of responsible, sustainable and fair development as well as attentive to local and global social needs. This was the ideation of the social patent. After two years of work, we have demonstrated that our test, called TMAC, could outperform some of the currently available rapid diagnostic tests for malaria. 
Next step is the preclinical validation. In the meanwhile, we have won the prize for disruptive innovation of the Swiss product competition organized by Politecnico, Bocconi and Deloitte. Again, the TMEC business plan is based on the principle of corporate ethics, this allowing for the reinvestment of potential revenue from social patents in social projects. It's a new road and a real challenge, but the image of the line out of the hospitals in Africa is also a good motivation to go for it.